equations in quadratic form. This time, you will learn how to solve equations in quadratic form, wherein it may be a rational algebraic equation or equations with negative exponents or fractional exponents, such as x raised to negative 1 equals 2x raised to negative 2, 2x raised to 1 third plus x raised to 2 thirds equals 8. Lastly, 5 over x plus 3 plus 2x over x minus 3 equals 36 over x squared minus 9. Solve for the value of x. Now to solve for the value of x, here are the steps. First, find the LCD of all the denominator presented in the given. Then, multiply it on both sides of the equation. Lastly, simplify n solved by any of the four methods where it is applicable. Rule 1. x minus 3 over 2 minus 1 over x equals 0. First, determine the LCD. So, in 2 and x, the LCD is 2x. Copy the given, then multiply the LCD to both sides of the equation. So, it will become 2x times quantity x minus 3 over 2 minus, minus 1 over x equals 0 times 2x. Next, simplify and solve using any of the four methods, to, but see to it it is appropriate. General form of the equation will be 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals 0. Determine the values of your a, b, and c. a here is 2, b is negative 3, c is negative 2. We will use the solving quadratic equation by factoring. So you draw the x mark, determine the a, c, and b. a, c here is negative 4 because a times c, 2 times negative 2, is negative 4. Then b is negative 3. Next, take note that negative 4 and 1 are the factors of negative 4. At the same time, when added, the result is negative 3. Then write quantity x minus 4 times quantity x plus 1. Quantity x minus 4 over 2 times quantity x plus 1 over 2 equals 0. In this case, we divide these two numbers or these two factors with a value of our a. And the value of our a is 2. And then simplify. By simplifying this, we arrive with quantity x minus 2 times quantity x plus 1 half equals 0. Next, apply the zero factor properties you will have there. x minus 2 equals 0. Transpose negative 2 to the other side of the equation, you will have there x equals 0 plus 2, and 0 plus 2 is 2. So the value of our x is 2. Next, x plus 1 half equals 0. Transpose 1 half to the other side of the equation, that would be x equals 0 minus 1 half. And 0 minus 1 half is a negative 1 half. So the second value of our x is negative 1 half. Next, do the checking and conclusion. Checking, if x equals 2, write the given, substitute the value of x, which is 2, so you will have there 2 minus 3 over 2 minus 1 half equals 0. 2 minus 3 halves, that's 1 half. 1 half minus 1 half is 0. 0 equals 0, that is true. Next, if x equals negative 1 half, write the given, substitute the value of x, which is negative 1 half, you will have here negative 1 half minus 3 over 2 minus 1 over negative 1 half. Simplifying this, negative 1 half minus 3 halves, that's negative 2. And simplifying negative of 1 over negative 1 half, that's 2. So negative 2 plus 2 equals 0. 0 equals 0, and it's true. Conclusion, therefore, the values of x are 2 and negative 1 half. Number 2. 2 over x squared minus 3 over x plus 1 equals 0. Determine the LCD. The LCD of x squared and x is x squared. Write the given. Multiply both sides of the equation with the LCD. So you will have there x squared times quantity 2 over x squared minus 3 over x plus 1 equals 0 times x squared. Next, by multiplying x squared with 2 over x squared minus 3 over x plus 1, we arrive with 2 minus 3x plus x squared. Then on the other side, we arrive with 0. By 
by multiplying 0 with x squared. Arrange to make it into a general form of the equation, we arrive to x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Identify the values of your a, b, and c. Then solve using solving quadratic equation by factoring. So a is 1, b is negative 3, c is 2. Draw the x mark. Identify the a, c, and b. A, C here is 2 because A, C, 1 times 2 is 2. B is negative 3. Now, take note that negative 2 and negative 1 here are the factors of 2. At the same time, when added, the result is negative 3. Next, you write quantity X minus 2 times quantity X then, you write quantity x minus 2 times quantity x minus 1. Divide this number with the value of your a, which is 1. So, you will have there x minus 2 over 1 times quantity x minus 1 over 1 equals 0. Then, simplify quantity x minus 2 times quantity x minus 1 equals 0. So apply the zero factor property, you will have there x minus 2 equals 0. Transpose negative 2 to the other side of the equation, that would be x equals 0 plus 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. So the first value of x is 2. On the other side, x minus 1 equals 0. Transpose negative 1, that would be x equals 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, so the second value of our x is 1. Now, let's do the checking and conclusion. If x equals 2, write the given, substitute the value of x, you will have there 2 over 2 squared minus 3 over 2 plus 1 equals 0. 2 over 2 squared, that would be 2 over 4, and 3 over 2, that would be 3 halves. 2 over 4 minus 3 over 2, that's negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1, that would be 0. So 0 equals 0, and that is true. If x equals 1, write the given, substitute the value of x, which is 1. You will have there 2 over 1 squared minus 3 over 1 plus 1. 2 over 1 minus 3 over 1, that would be negative 1. So negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So 0 equals 0, and that is true. Conclusion. Therefore, the values of x are 2 and 1.